This is CNN with Jamie Cooper. And good Tuesday morning. I'm Jamie Cooper. This is a live edition of ZNN, the first part of the news every day, sponsored by the Athens News Courier. You can go to their website and hear all about what's in the paper, in case you didn't get one. Here's what's cranking on this Tuesday morning. Let's get it started. Man who shot Athens police officer and two sisters sentenced to prison. Front page News Courier, the Athens police officer who was shot while responding to a domestic incident last year, said he spent a lot of time second-guessing himself, but mainly considers himself fortunate. That's Lieutenant Trevor Harris. It missed all the organs when the shot was fired at him. Uh, the guy, the 40-year-old, pleaded guilty Monday morning to one count of attempted murder, two counts of first-degree assault, according to District Attorney Christy Valls. All right, y'all know this news has been all over the uh, country about this kidnapped infant found in Ardmore over the weekend. You know, the baby was stolen up in Nashville. They found the baby at a home in Ardmore. Well, USA Today reports this morning, family may have tried to sell that baby. Nashville, the family of a Tennessee woman whose newborn was kidnapped is under investigation for possibly trying to sell the baby, according to the Tennessean. Uh, the three siblings that remain that they also had were taken and put in foster care. So there's the deal on that. You can read more about it in the News Courier this morning. Speaking of USA Today, they've got a thing, Athens, Alabama. Pilgrim's Pride Chicken Processing Plant plans to close this week, putting 600 people out of work. Also out of the News Courier on this Tuesday morning, uh, construction workers will begin making safety improvements at the intersection in front of the Blue Springs Elementary School in about two weeks. The improvements are aimed at making the intersection safer, both now and when the kindergarten through fifth graders uh, feeder school for Clements High School opens in June 2010. Also, construction will begin, according to the News Courier, on the Event Center. Construction will begin in the Limestone County Event Center soon as county officials can secure a building from it from the city of Athens. Well, that shouldn't be a problem. Uh, Cooper Construction Manager, no relation to me, will be on site throughout the renovation of the old Pilgrim's Pride Warehouse. Monday, some demolition work has already begun. It is an 18,000 square foot warehouse that the county commission will be taking uh, over as an event center. Here's a picture in the News Courier this Tuesday morning. Judge Jerry Betts, one of our bestest buddies, a big Auburn man, was a featured speaker at the September breakfast meeting, breakfast meeting of the National Active and Retired Federal Employees Chapter at the Alabama Veterans Museum. We'll talk with Frank in just a little bit, too, about this 43rd annual Old Time Fiddlers Convention. It took place this weekend over at Athens State, and the weather was absolutely picture perfect for it. Here's the pic picture this morning out of the paper with the winner. Athens State University's Gail Davis presents the 09 Fiddle Championship Trophy to Adam French of Kentucky. He won Saturday night's 43rd annual Tennessee Valley Old Time Fiddlers Convention. And I just mentioned Coach Alan Creasy. He should be with us tomorrow. It'll be our last live show of the week. Golden Eagles playoff hopes take big hit and lost to Hartzell. This out of the Saturday morning news courier. We'll talk with uh, Coach Creasy tomorrow about how well or where that, that leaves them. Congratulations, too, to Elkmont. They got an historic win. This out of Saturday's paper. Elkmont and Carbert County were both looking for a win Friday night. That would give them an edge. Carbert County won the toss, deferred, however, and then uh, Elkmont beat them. The win improves Elkmont to 4-2. and two. So they also enhanced their playoff chances, improving to 3-1 to one in the area. We have partnered with the News Courier. You can read about us every Tuesday morning now in the paper. We'll be telling you after this week, uh, here coming up in the next couple of weeks, about what we're going to have on day to day here on uh, ZTV 11. You know, right now we've got the show in the morning. We've got Punked. American Idol Rewind, Cold Case Files, uh, a lot of stuff like that. We just picked up the Nick Saban show. We will be letting you know before the show ends today at what time, I think tonight, at what time? Today is Tuesday. Oh, tonight, it starts next week. But I'll run some of that hopefully later on this morning.